this is Abby Kahn with Fusion Magazine, and we're here at the premiere of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. You do the music video for this. Yeah. Did you have a, uh, did you co-write at all? No, I didn't get to co-write the song, but uh, it's pretty cool because my two friends are in the music video with me, and uh, it's it was just really awesome getting to see all the animation in the video and everything. But I'm getting to co-write on a lot of the songs on my CD that's coming out, so that's exciting. You know what? You, uh, you play a law officer in this, and it sounds a lot like you. Yeah, did you exactly. act at all? Huh? Did you act at all? I mean, my, my, my character, you know, I just did the voice. You know, because I, I used to do security and all that stuff and whatnot, so I know about law and all that. And that's my thing to the kids, tell them, you know, obey the law, listen to your mother, stay in school, you know, stay with the wrong crowd. So it, it works with me. Okay. Um, they're casting the new A-Team movie. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have a cameo in there? No. No. Do you want a cameo? No, it's uh, they, ha they have a whole new cast. It's none of the, none of the regular guys, you know. Now, do you think the um, new person playing B.A., do you think he will be wearing gold chains, or is that your trademark? That's my trademark. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I will have to give him a call. You know, he, 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 he can't wear my hairstyle because that's me. He can be himself, you know, but he can't wear no gold, and he can't use my, and he can't use my lines, you know. He can't say I pee the fool. He can't say don't give me no jibber-jabber. He can't say shut up, fool. He can't say that. <laughs> you look beautiful today. What dress are you wearing? Thank you. I'm wearing Colette Finnegan. Neil, you're hosting the Emmys pretty uh, this year. How do you think that experience is going to be different from hosting the Tonys? Well, the Emmys will be different just because there's a lot more, a lot, a lot more viewers and a lot of different little elements to the show. The Emmys have reality and drama and movies of the week and comedy shows, and so you have to sort of play to a lot of different variables. The Tonys was mostly just musicals and plays. Are you nervous? Yeah, in a good way. I think it's going to be a fun show. We've got a lot of great presenters, and my job is just to be like, hey, look here, now look over there. So so how is this making this film different from any other animation you've done? I kind of like to say that this is my first animated feature film I've ever worked on. Of course, I've worked on a lot of animated movies, but the funny thing about this one is it's really a cartoon. I mean, it's it's as silly as silly gets, but it's also this big epic story. So it's, it's uh, a different experience in that way. Okay. What are you working on next? Well, you know what? I'm just focused on getting this one all done. We, we, we literally were looking at the last, you know, check prints in the IMAX just the other day, so I'm completely embedded in this. I'm also looking at a whole bunch of new technology right now okay. for the next next big films coming out of uh, Sony. So what's the new technology? Because right now 3D is in. I'm thinking 2D is going to go instinct, um, extinct, so what's next? You know, we're doing a lot of research right now. We've done like seven or eight big 3D movies, and we've gotten our tools pretty well lined up, but we're doing a lot of interesting research right now in the area of 3D. We're also always looking to improve our animation techniques, get faster at the stuff we do, basically just improve the whole workflow for our artists so we can make these movies and have, a, you know, do them efficiently and have fun making them. So Bruce, you eat a lot of food in this movie. I eat, I eat way too much. <laughs> Is there something specific you'd put in an order for if you had unlimited amounts of food falling from the sky? Yeah, I mean, spaghetti is a pretty good staple. Just pile it on. You know, most people can sit down and eat a bowl of spaghetti. You know, any kid can just eat a bowl of spaghetti. So that would be mine. If I wanted to fill my face up, it would be spaghetti. So you would have the morning, day, and night? Sure. <laughs> well, it's like Russell Crowe when he got, he, got, he got ready for the movie The Insider. He had to gain like 30 pounds, so he it was a cheeseburger and bourbon. That's how he did it. Now tell us about the next season of Bird Notice. Uh, the next season, stuff's going to happen. Big stuff, crazy stuff. Can you give us a little bit of a secret? Come on. Happening. I don't even know. The writers never tell us. It's all secret. When do you start shooting again? Uh, next February for season four. Yeah. Thank you so much. Coming at you. Thank hey, hey, food, it's Mr. T, and you're watching Fusion. Ugh. Until next time, this is Abby Kahn with Fusion Magazine.